Hello guys, welcome to a new video here in Code Jobs. My name is Carlos Santana and we are going to start a new course called React Step by Step. So let's start. First, let's see what is React. React is a JavaScript library made by Facebook to create interactive UIs. It is used to create dynamic and reusable components. The most powerful thing about React is that it can be used in the client, the server, mobile, and even VR applications. How easy is to learn React? The learning curve of React is short compared with other JavaScript frameworks such as Angular, Vue, or Backbone, mainly because React is written with modern JavaScript, using classes, arrow functions, string templates, etc., and does not use too many patterns to write code like the dependency injection or a template system like in Angular. Who uses React? Companies like Airbnb, Microsoft, Netflix, Disney, Twitter, PayPal, Tesla, and Uber use React in their projects. In this course, you will learn how to develop your React applications like them using the best practices. There are some requirements that you need to install. The first one is Node.js that you can get from Node.js.org. Uh, second one is Atom, or you can use any other editor you want. Uh, Chrome, React DevTools, and Redux DevTools. So you can uh, access them uh, through the links. Uh, modern fe features of JavaScript that React uses. The first one is a let and const, the spread operator, that is the three points, the structuring, the arrow functions, template literals, map, object assign, classes, static methods, promises, async, and await. Working with Windows. Windows for development is a little bit painful. It has four main issues. The first one is the terminal, because it doesn't use a Unix terminal, so you need to install Sigwin or Git Bash. Uh, the second one is the environment variables. Uh, there is a problem with Windows, because you need to use uh, the, the word set uh, to set environment, environment variables, but to fix this problem, you can use the package cross -amp. The third one is the case sensitive in directories and files. Uh, this problem also ha happened in Linux, so you need to be careful. Like if you create a directory with capital letters, you must import with, with the same name and the same way. And finally, the paths. Uh, Windows uses a backslash, backslash, and Linux or Mac uses forward slash. Um, so a way to fix this is using the path uh, package from Node, and then use uh, the method path.join, for example. And if you want an advice, do not use Windows. Always prefer Linux or Mac. Well, let's create our fierce, fierce React application. Uh, to use React, you must install the package create React app. So you need to run this command, npm install that sheet to install globally, create React app. And then to create your application, you need to do create React app and then the name of your application. In this case will be my first app. Also, I would like to let you know that I have uh, my new book, React Book, which you can get it uh, unpacked. Uh, so I will give you the link on the description so you can buy it from there. Okay, so now you need to open your terminal and simply, well, I have installed the create react app already. So you need to run first this command. I mean, after you install node, of course, um, but after you install it, you can do create react app my first app and this will create your new react application um, with all the necessary things to start in the same directory name my first app Okay, so this takes a little bit of time. Okay, now after it's created, 
give us, give us uh, some commands that we can run. The first one is the uh, npm start, which is the most important for now. So basically, what you need to do is uh, go to the folder, cd my first app, and from there you can write npm start. And automatically will open a new uh, uh, window in your Chrome or in your browser in, on localhost 3000. And this is our first React application. Okay, so for this video is everything. Um, it's all. Uh, I would like to do like short videos. Um, also, I'm making this video in Spanish. Uh, so I will try to do one video in Spanish and then the other video in English, so everyone can uh, join to this course. Uh, if you like the video, please um, share with your friends. Um, also, if you would like to buy my book, um, the links uh, is in the description. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.